Hi, welcome to Albuquerque, New Mexico. My name is Rick Vitale, Operations Leader for Materion Advanced Materials Albuquerque Sites. Materion started in the Albuquerque area in 1976 as Academy Corporation, a silver refinery business, and grew over the years before becoming part of the Materion family in 2010. We have three facilities, a refinery, shield kit cleaning facility, and third, we have the manufacturing facility, which you can see right behind me. Together, the three facilities house some 70 employees. Today, we're going to look at how we can help improve the world with our contribution to reducing energy consumption by making energy efficient architectural glass. Come on inside. I was born and raised in New Mexico. i uh, lived here all my life. We're very fortunate to have the landscapes that we enjoy, our mountains, our clean air, the water. We've been brought up to respect and preserve all of our natural resources. Here at Materion, we play a big role in protecting and preserving the environment. While the first glass factory in the United States was built in Jamestown, Virginia in 1608, it wasn't until the 20th century when skyscrapers and all-glass houses started to dominate new construction, creating a growing market for large area glass coatings. Windows can account for 18 to 30 percent of a building's heat loss, so increasing the glass's ability to retain heat is crucial to saving energy. What's more, a properly treated glass also reflects away the intensity of the sun's heat, also saving on energy costs. To get a better idea of how we contribute to saving energy and reducing our carbon footprint, we talked to some key Materion employees. Windows in the United States are no longer sold without low-E glass, so it's a huge, huge market. I run the plasma sprayer, which coats the rotatable targets. The rotatable targets are tools that they use in their machines to roll out the low energy glass. The coatings on the glass help to keep buildings at the right temperatures more efficiently so that they can spend less money and utilize less energy. The rod tubes need to be machined and um, usually I'll cut them to length. And then there's end fixations that hold the parts when they're doing the other processes. And so they'll have different grooves on the end. And then when I get them back after cast or form spray, I gotta do machining on them too. By adding this additional business to the Albuquerque site, we now can provide our customers with a full array of materials to make better reflective coefficients on the glass. With all of the coders that are in the United States and abroad, there is no way that there is enough coders to coat all glass. So it's a, it's a growing business. Moving over to Materion, the transition, two months to get an operation like that up from a bare, bare building was phenomenal. Having the opportunity to learn the processes from operators who've done it for several years really was key to the transfer over here to Albuquerque. I enjoyed her race and I was fortunate enough to have a guy who helped me out that was really good at what he did and that was willing to show me and uh, bear with my questions and everything. Our employees are proud of what they do. They realize that they lower the impact on, on the environment by producing more efficient glass in large office buildings and buildings throughout the world. People that I talk to here at our Materion location in Albuquerque, people are, we're all proud of the company that we work for. Well, that's our story from Albuquerque, New Mexico. I'm Rick Vitale, and for Materion's Advanced Materials business, we're proud to make advanced materials that improve the world. Thanks for watching.